In the world of spaceflight, timing is everything. Every test, every upgrade, and every small adjustment can mean the difference between a historic leap forward or another delay added to the calendar. For SpaceX, this pressure is amplified, as the company is racing not only against technical challenges but also against the clock set by ambitious NASA timelines and international expectations. The next Starship test is lining up as more than just another experimental flight. It's a checkpoint that could shape how quickly the world sees this rocket evolve from prototype to fully operational launch system. Now, all eyes are on Flight 11, a mission that has been marked as a pivotal trial before SpaceX can truly shift gears. The spacecraft itself is ready, and the teams in Boca Chica have been working through rapid cycles of upgrades and refinements. Among the most closely watched changes is the integration of new hardware that could determine whether the vehicle is finally mature enough to stick to a consistent launch schedule. It's the kind of moment where the smallest piece of technology, or even a single test result, can ripple across the entire program's trajectory. If you want to stay ahead on every development surrounding Starship and the future of space exploration, make sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss what comes next. Only a short time has passed since Starship's Flight 10 marked another step forward in the program, but SpaceX has already pushed into the next phase. The pace has been strikingly fast, with teams moving hardware, preparing ground systems, and lining up the next sequence of tests at Starbase. Each of these efforts is carefully stacked to build momentum toward Flight 11, which has now become the central focus of operations in Boca Chica. Following Flight 10, attention shifted quickly from reviewing results to readying new hardware. Booster 15 was rolled back to the production site for rework, while Ship 38, the designated vehicle for Flight 11, advanced through its preparations. SpaceX's rhythm has become increasingly streamlined, as lessons from earlier launches are applied almost immediately into the next build. This tight cycle of test, adjust, and retest has allowed the company to keep its campaign moving with fewer pauses than before. At the launch site, modifications have been just as important as vehicle readiness. Ground equipment, such as quick disconnect systems and hold-down structures, has been repositioned or upgraded in recent weeks. These steps, though technical, are critical to ensuring smooth fuel loading, stable vehicle support, and pad reliability during the intense demands of a full-stack launch. The work demonstrates how SpaceX treats the pad as a dynamic system, evolving alongside the rockets themselves. Several factors have enabled this accelerated timeline. Flight 10 ended with relatively minor damage to Starbase infrastructure, reducing repair time significantly. Hardware for Flight 11 had been in development well before the last test, allowing much of it to be slotted in quickly. And perhaps most importantly, the company has been refining its process with every campaign, meaning fewer unknowns and smoother transitions between flights. This has created a situation where preparations can proceed at a pace that seemed unlikely just a year ago. Now as the final pieces of hardware are fitted and test schedules align, everything is pointing toward one decisive step. The groundwork has been laid, the vehicles are advancing through their final phases, and the pad is nearly ready. What comes next will set the tone for Flight 11, and it hinges on a key element that SpaceX has been carefully preparing in recent days. With the foundation in place, SpaceX has been preparing for one of the most important final steps before Flight 11, the integration of a special adapter system. This hardware, often overlooked compared to the engines or the massive rocket itself, plays a decisive role in making sure the ship can be properly tested on the pad before launch. It connects the Starship to the orbital launch mount, aligning systems for fueling, stability, and ground checks. Without it, no full-scale ship test could proceed. This adapter, sometimes referred to as a ring wall stand or testing adapter, was transported and installed shortly after Flight 10 wrapped up. Its job is to create the correct interface between the ship and the mount. In practice, that means allowing propellant lines, electrical systems, and structural supports to match perfectly between ground equipment and the vehicle. Even small misalignments in these connections could create fueling problems or, worse, prevent accurate data collection during cryogenic or static fire testing. 
That's why this adapter is not just another piece of hardware. It's the bridge that lets SpaceX validate Ship 38 in a safe, controlled way before it ever lifts off. The timing of its arrival and installation tells us a lot about how SpaceX is managing the Flight 11 campaign. Instead of delaying preparations until later in the month, engineers moved quickly to get the adapter fitted, tested, and ready for use. Within days of being delivered, cranes lifted it into position on the orbital launch mount, where it was secured and connected. These rapid actions show a clear intent. SpaceX is determined to reduce dead time between flights, and the adapter is central to achieving that. But while the installation has kept momentum high, the presence of the adapter also confirms that a significant round of ship testing must still take place before Flight 11. Road closures at Boca Chica, which usually signal upcoming cryogenic trials and static fires, have not yet been finalized. Once they are, Ship 38 will be rolled out to the pad and mounted onto the adapter. Only then can SpaceX run the full sequence of checks, everything from fueling line integrity to tank pressurization to ignition system reliability. This process is vital not only for safety, but also for ensuring that Flight 11 can proceed without the risk of unexpected setbacks during countdown. This testing requirement is also the main reason why many had to adjust their expectations for the launch timeline. Early hopes suggested Flight 11 could happen before the end of this month, but with the adapter just now entering use and the ship still awaiting its full suite of pad trials, the schedule has clearly shifted. Bill Gerstenmeier, SpaceX's Vice President of Build and Flight Reliability, recently confirmed that September is off the table. Instead, October is now the realistic window, with early weeks of the month being the most likely. That shift in timing reflects SpaceX's careful balance between speed and caution. The company is known for moving fast, often faster than any of its competitors, but it also understands that certain steps cannot be rushed. The adapter-based ship test is one of those steps. Rushing through it would risk repeating mistakes from earlier flights, where incomplete testing led to problems that could have been caught on the ground. By pacing the rollout into October, SpaceX is giving itself just enough time to validate everything without undermining the impressive momentum it has built. Beyond the schedule itself, Flight 11 carries more weight than just being the next number in the sequence. It's widely viewed as the final mission of the current V2 phase of Starship. That means its outcome will directly shape the transition to the more advanced V3 version, which is already being prepared. The adapter, in this sense, is not just serving a technical role. It's enabling the last crucial test campaign of an entire Starship generation. Once the vehicle clears this milestone, SpaceX will be free to focus more aggressively on V3 hardware, upgraded pads, and the eventual move toward catching boosters and ships with the tower. In the broader picture, the careful use of this adapter highlights how even small components can decide the pace of the entire program. For SpaceX, Flight 11 is not simply about another launch. It's about proving that every system, booster, ship, and pad, is ready to handle the escalating demands of rapid reusability and higher payloads. The adapter test stands as the final gate, and only once it is passed can SpaceX light the engines of Ship 38 and push into the next chapter of Starship's development. So while the wait for Flight 11 extends into October, the reasoning behind the delay is clear. SpaceX isn't holding back because of hesitation. It's holding back to make sure the mission delivers. When the countdown finally begins, it won't just mark another test flight. It will mark the moment when all these preparations and the adapter itself have set the stage for the future of the world's most ambitious rocket.